Hi, I'm the Rap Critic, and look, first of all, I just want to start off by saying I'm not mad at this kid. I'm mad at the adults in the room that let this happen. They see me blowing up, now they say they want some. I got two twin blocks, turn you to a dancer. So this is Lil Tecca's song, Ransom, with a dollar sign in place of the S. Okay, this is supposed to be a joke, right? Like, look at him. They had to have specifically told him to sing over this upbeat song while looking like a seventh grader whose ADHD meds just kicked in. I can't tell if he legit has a lazy eye or maybe it's just more bored with the song than he is. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, rap critic, leave the kid alone. His music sounds harmless enough. What's he talking about? Colors or something? And you know, if he was getting his Aaron Carter on, you know, rapping about girls and house parties while your parents are away, that'd be fine. But nah, this is supposed to be some gangster Shit. Oh yeah, he's hardcore to the max. He's selling coke and black tar heroin apparently. I got black, I got white, what you want? Oh, and if you dare try to steal his unique and totally never done before sing songy flow, he'll literally kidnap you. They try to take my flow, I take their ass for ransom. And this is pretty obviously ridiculous, right? Like, like who's buying this? Come on, the kids in Criss Cross were more intimidating than this. At least the beat from their song kicked ass and sounded like a real song worth spitting hardcore raps over. Not this empty Tropical House flavored cheesiness that sounds like a theme song from a low budget Nick Jr. show. And you know, I know not every rapper is as hardcore as their lyrics would suggest, but this is just insulting our intelligence now. I mean, the guy's claiming to be a hardcore rapper while wearing braces that he didn't even put a gaudy gold grill on top of? Come on, bro, that, that's just missing opportunities. I got two twin blocks, turn you to a dancer. I see two twin eyes, leave him on a band. So, wait, just to get this straight, you've got two guns that you're gonna use to kill two literal twins that both just happened to hate you, and then you're gonna put them on a banner? Does he even know what he's talking about? Well, apparently not, since if you go to the Genius page, it's filled with him giving a whole bunch of half-assed explanations and straight up admitting that he is indeed not a hardcore thug. You know, in case you couldn't tell. I mean, when rappers brag about putting their enemies to sleep, they don't usually mean with a freaking lullaby. This is just bizarre. It's like baby gangster rap. I feel like I should report this video for, like, violating child labor laws or something. No, I mean, it is not a place I'm from. I am not comfortable watching a bunch of adult women massaging this kid's bird chest. Now, some people have said that the black and white part that he mentioned earlier is a reference to the different colors of luxury cars he has and the colors that they come in. But that doesn't make sense unless he's, like, offering one of them to you. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside a ghost and hop up in a fan, uh. Well, in that case, I guess I... You know, I can't even hate it. That just seems like a really nice thing to do. I got red, I got blue, what you want? The Chanel Balenciaga Louis Vuitton. And here, I thought maybe he was talking about the drugs of different colors or, or maybe the colors of the expensive bags. But no, this is his explanation. That's just adding to the spectrum. That's just showing black and white, red and blue. You feel me? They both two at the ends of the spectrum, red and blue at the end of each spectrum. But th th they're not. Dude, I know you're young, but I figured you were at least old enough to have learned the color wheel, for God's sakes. I needed me a diorata, I need me a wand. Wait, what would you need a... Die or rider chick for. Die or rider. Jesus, I can't even get the phrase right. But hey, I guess only the most loyal women can pick the corn chips out of his braces. I started from the bottom, you can see the way I start. I want out of diamonds, I want that shit to wear time. Dude, you look like you wouldn't be able to move your legs in a pair of soaking wet jeans. Yeah, maybe rethink the heavy jewelry. But yeah, kid jokes aside, this is honestly just a boilerplate SoundCloud song with all the generic hip hop tropes you'd expect. I got lots of shawty trying to pull up to my place. But you ain't want me last year, so just get up on my Oh gee, did people change up a bit once you acquired fame and fortune? What a novel phenomenon! The app they tryna lie me cause they hate the place I'm from But them niggas don't know me, they just know the place I'm from And hey, what mainstream rap song would be complete without rhyming words with the same words? You know what's the sad thing about this though? The song as a whole is honestly just about as good as any of the other rappers twice his age doing the same thing so that should feel more insulting to the older rappers if anything i mean guys i'm not gonna lie as much as this song is the musical equivalent of a plushie i'd much rather listen to this than future at the very least it's a simple fun melody you can easily sing along to meanwhile wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. I mean, hey, if you can figure out what he's saying, have at it. Overall, though, I give this song a 1 out of 5. I'm not even mad at the kid. This is for all the people who let this guy rap in the first place. Shame on you for exploiting his talent. Well, for exploiting a child, anyway. And to Lil Tecca specifically, well, I don't think I'd have anything I'd personally want to say to him that wouldn't end with, Who's a big, tough gangster rapper? Who's a big, tough gangster rapper? Not you. Very clearly not you. Well, that's the episode. Leave a like if you liked it, because it helps. Comment if you have something to say, because it helps even more. And hit the subscribe button and the bell, because that helps the most. And if you'd like to support my show, go to patreon.com slash rapcritic. And if you want to hear the music I'm actually into, check out my radio show on Station Head, where we play all the dope hip-hop mainstream radio won't. 
from any time period in any time zone with new hip hop Thursdays every week around 7.30. And for your convenience, I'll leave all those links down in the description and whatnot. So check out all that fun stuff and I'll catch you next time. Peace.